What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're taking a look at another guide here for side loading some drivers. 25.5.1 onto the Legion Go. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to side load the MD drivers for a while, they haven't worked, but ASUS has put out an update for the Raga Ally and Ally X, and we are able to use those drivers on the Legion Go and get things updated to 25.5.1 and fix games like Doom here on the Legion Go. And I am running on the official Lenovo drivers currently. I don't have anything side loaded. So these are December 12th, 2024. There may be a few differences on screen or in the process if you already have side loaded drivers or if you're on the official ones. And I'll try to call those out for you. Now we're going to get into things here. And the first thing we're going to need is some files downloaded. And like I said, ROG Ally is where we're going to grab the driver. So I'm on the Ally X support site. And I'll throw these links in the description as well. And we want to grab the graphics driver here, 0.90. To four. That's going to give us the 25.5.1. Now, this is an optional one, but this is WU Show Hide. So, this is to help with Windows updates and stopping those. We're going to talk about this a couple of times in the video, and I have never had any issues with this. It's been out a few years. I've used it a couple of times, but it's definitely optional. But I did want to throw it in there as an option for you to check out. And of course, we are going to use DDU because I am going to uninstall the current driver here. We're not going to use safe mode in this video. I kind of go back and forth, but I haven't had any trouble with it here not going to safe mode. So we're just going to go the easy route here. Now, once all these get downloaded, we can go ahead and close out of our browser here. And then we'll go and check and make sure everything downloaded fine in our downloads folder and make sure we're ready to go here. And there's everything. We got our graphics driver, our DDU, and that optional program for blocking the Windows updates. Now, if you want to pause Windows updates, you can go into your Windows updates and settings. I do like a pause for five weeks. I'm always tinkering and changing stuff. So that usually works for me um, to pause the updates. But sometimes for some people, it will still revert the GPU driver update. You can search and go into services.msd here. You'll see services tab. You could click that and it's going to take you into the services. This is a little bit more of a way to disable this long term and you can undo this at any time, but you're going to scroll down until you get to Windows Update, double click that, and then you're going to see some options in here. All you got to do is go to the middle where it has the startup type. Mine's on manual right now. You can click disable right there and then you'll click apply and OK. And that'll keep that supposedly from uh, rolling back your GPU driver. And you can always go in here and change it back to the previous setting that it was before so that Windows updates will work again. Now, I usually do those before I get into installing the new driver so I don't have any issues. This other optional way with that program we talked about earlier, the WU Show Hide, if I ran that now on the OEM driver, nothing's going to come up to block. If you already have something sideloaded, it probably would. So we're actually going to run this later on after we've installed the sideloaded driver, and then we'll check off some things and stop it there. So we'll revisit this again later on in the video once we do the install process here, and then that'll finalize the options for stopping some of those Windows updates. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is extract that new driver. It's a little bit of a different process here. We're not going to do an install on it, so we're going to double click but we're only going to do an extract on it. So is that out? We're going to go ahead and click OK. We're going to do next, agree. And then now we're going to do extract instead of install. A little different from our past guides on side loading drivers from AMD. We're going to click next, next again, install. Now this is just going to put us on C drivers right here. And we'll be accessing that folder to do a couple of things for our install. So we'll go ahead and get that done there. Click finish once it's all wrapped up. It's gonna go ahead and open the folder. We can just close that. We don't need to get into there just yet, but everything's extracted. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is DDU and get rid of the existing driver so that things are clean and ready to go for the new side load driver install. So I'm gonna go into our downloads and I'm gonna extract the folder we downloaded for our DDU. Extract all. All right, once that's done, it's going to pop up another folder. We're going to run this application for DDU, which is going to give us another extract option. So we're going to do extract again. And then once that's finished, it's going to go ahead and get us into another folder where we have DDU right here, finally extracted. And we're going to run display driver uninstaller right up here. Now I normally would do this in safe mode, but I haven't found it necessary with this method. So you should be fine doing it this way without worrying about that. So we'll go ahead and get into it here. Typically at the bottom of these general uh, options tab, I'll do the prevent downloads for the Windows update as well. So I'll go ahead and have that check marked off and then we can close that. You'll probably get a warning about being in safe mode or not being in safe mode rather. 
we're going to select AMD or GPU AMD here, and then we're going to do clean and restart. And once that's finished up, it's going to go ahead and restart us back into the device. You may have to flip back into landscape mode if it doesn't do it automatically. And then we're going to go into installed apps. Now, my AMD Adrenaline's gone with the DDU, with the OEM driver, but a sideloaded driver usually leaves Adrenaline. But if you do still have Adrenaline in the installed apps from AMD, go ahead and uninstall that. All right, so the next thing we'll be able to do is actually go into our device manager and install the new driver. So once in device manager, we're going to go to display adapters. It's just going to be a Microsoft basic adapter right now since we've done the DDU. So we'll go and double tap there. I'm going to go to driver and then we're going to go to update. So we'll click update driver. Now we're going to do browse my computer for drivers. We're going to do let me pick from a list. Then we're going to do have disk and then browse. Now we're going to go to our C drive. We want to go to where we extracted the driver earlier. I'm going to go to the C drive. We're going to go to that drivers folder right here. That's the one we just extracted. Open that up into AMD. We're going to go to packages, drivers, display, oh, display, and then WT6A underscore INF. And then the very bottom, the UINF file right here is going to be our driver file. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And then we're going to click OK and we'll get a list of drivers. Now we're just going to scroll down here a little bit and we're going to just do the AMD Radeon graphics right there. And then we're going to click Next. And then we're going to do Yes. And then it's going to install the driver. Now once it does that, you'll probably get flipped around here and you can see we are in the AMD graphics driver now. And I'll flip us back to uh, landscape mode and then we're going to restart the PC. I always like to restart once we do an install. So display settings and we'll flip this back to the landscape flip. And then I'm going to go in here into device manager and we can see indeed still says AMD Radeon graphics right there. All right. So I restarted and the next thing I want to do is the AMD adrenaline software. So I'm going to open up file explorer again, go to the C drive, go to that drivers folder that we had extracted the AMD folder. We're going to go to packages again. This time, though, we're going to apps, the apps folder instead of the drivers folder. Open up the next folder, open up the store folder. And then my very top option here is the one I'm going to install right above that Explorer icon. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. Yours may say update. Mine's going to say install since I had nothing else here. But either way, you're going to want to run that and then launch when ready. So install or update, whichever one it says for you. Run that, it's a pretty quick process, doesn't take very long there. And then once that's finished, it's gonna go ahead and open up the new Adrenaline for me. I'll do skip this, and then we should be on the 25.5.1, the April data driver, which we have on our Ally X. That's gonna fix the issues with Doom and all the crashing and that type of thing, and at least have us updated to something much better until Lenovo gets something out there that's official for the go. This also gives us AMD's Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 for the device, so that's something we'll be able to check out in a future video as well. All right, so what about that optional blocking of Windows updates through that program we were downloading earlier, the W Show Hide? So I'm gonna go ahead and open that now that we've done the side loading. Remember earlier it only showed Lenovo firmware? Well, this time now that we have the side loaded driver, when we click Hide Updates, we're gonna get the AMD's advanced micro devices here. So for me, I've got three options, including the display driver right there. So I'm gonna click on all of those for all the AMD stuff, and then I'm gonna click Next, and then it's gonna go ahead and should help block and stop Windows from updating those individually any further in the future. So now that that's finished, we can go ahead and close that. And that's just another way, another option besides the ones I showed earlier in the video to kind of pause and stop some of the Windows updates that always want to roll back your drivers. So now we're going to get into some Doom and just show that running and fixed. And now I don't get the prompt when I launch the game anymore saying that I have the older driver. So everything's updated, ready to go. We can just click play and get into the game.
And ultimately, I've put in a good little bit of time. I tried to jump around to the areas that were crashing, like this one in my past video I made earlier in the week, uh, showing the issues that we had. And no more of those. All the areas that I was crashing and I jumped around to, and we didn't have any more issues with that, which is great. Performance is very similar to my ROG Ally X, maybe a FPS or a couple less here and there. Uh, mostly 30 to 45 FPS. You might want to get into trying some frame gen and stuff. I didn't get into that yet here. It was broken for a little while. So maybe we'll do a dedicated video now that Doom's working on the go and mess with some more settings, but I at least wanted to show it working here on this 2551 driver and that the side loading of the Asus uh, ROG Ally driver worked fine here for me. The process I've shown here worked fine. There's always other ways to do things. This just happens to be the way that I did this one this time and how it worked out for me. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it. Hopefully this helps you out and gets Doom or something else running for you on your go. All right, thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.